Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're looking at the Atrix Benefit Budget Gaming Mouse. Yes, I'm sick. I'm losing my voice. Yes, I'm getting better. Thank you. Anyways, the Budget Gaming Mouse. This is the type of thing you buy when you don't want to commit to trashing your wallet but still want to look cool. At $7, you can buy this or a cheeseburger combo at McDonald's. Which would you pick? Let's take a look at the mouse. The boxing for this product actually doesn't match the mouse I received, but I still did get the exact one I paid for inside the box. This mouse only has three buttons, a left, right, and middle click, and the lighting on this mouse is just from the optical sensor stuff inside, as well as a translucent logo for Atrix on the back. This mouse tracks surprisingly well at 1000 dpi, which is unchangeable, sadly, and although it's not as precise as my $70 laser mouse, it's still accurate enough to op some people. The left and right click are pretty heavy clickers, so if you're looking to click ultra fast for your invoker or meepo build, this might not be your mouse. It still is possible to click as fast as you normally might need to for playing a MOBA casually, but if you need it to be playing at a competitive level consistently, you should look elsewhere. The build quality is alright. It's got soft touch plastic all around and the size of the mouse is a little bigger than what I would have, but it's not quite as large as you would like if you had big hands. The left and right sides have curvatures to match your thumb and pinky placement if you're left or right handed. Good news for left handed gamers. This mouse in my opinion is ideal for finger grip users and small handed palm users, but for large hands this mouse is only a little too small for that. The overall weight is not adjustable and it is very light. Just how I like my mice, so if you plan on buying this mouse look forward to loving or hating that. Next we have the scroll wheel. It's pretty average to be honest, especially when compared to other OEM mice. At first it was awful, but it kind of improved over time. It's slow, kind of sluggish, but you do know when you're on the next step of that scroll. It drags on a bit, but it works. Lastly, the wire here is probably the worst part of the mouse. It's a good length, and it doesn't get caught on anything, so that's great. But the sheathing of this wire is a cross between rubber and plastic, and it's oddly shaped just stop. It's kind of disgusting. All in all, I think this mouse is very subjective. It's accurate and smooth enough on a mouse pad to be used for any games, but it's also a bit small, only supports red as its color, and it's only got good enough build quality. Only, yeah, but at $7, for most people this mouse will be just fine. And if you want more buttons, you can pay a little more and get those buttons. But this is a very basic budget mouse that you can buy for only $7. I think you've got great value for your money here. It works, it looks nice, feels nice enough, and it's accurate, so why not? It's only $7, and if you can get a free shipping promo code, then more power to you. Alright everyone, thanks for watching the video. I will be giving this mouse away actually, so link to join that will be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this style of content. This was a quick review. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.